Let us start our session about Introduction to Trigonometry. At the end of this chapter, Introduction to Trigonometry, you will be able to understand basic trigonometric ratios, trigonometric ratios of some specific angles, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles, trigonometric identities. Let us recall, what do we mean by triangle? A triangle is a simple figure made of three aligned segments. It has three vertices, three sides and three angles. Here, sides of a triangle are AB, BC, and CA. Angles of a triangle are angle A, angle B, angle C. And vertices of a triangle are A, B, C. Let's look at the right angle triangle. Right angle is the internal angle of a triangle, which is equal to 90 degrees. A triangle which contains right angle, 90 degrees, in it, is known as right angle triangle, or right triangle. Image shows a right angle triangle. Let's look into some examples, that occur in our surroundings, where right angle triangles are imagined to be formed. Suppose you are standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. You started looking at the top of the tower. Here a right angle triangle can be imagined to be made. Can you find out the height of tower without actually measuring tower? Let's consider another scenario. Suppose you are sitting in the balcony of your house, which is located on the bank of the river. You are looking down, at a boy standing nearby on the other bank of the river. Here, a right angle triangle can be imagined to be made. If you know, the height at which you are sitting, can you find the width of the river? Let's consider another scenario. Suppose an aeroplane is flying. A boy watches that aeroplane and runs to his brother to tell him about it. His brother rushes out of the house to look at the aeroplane. When the boy had spotted the aeroplane initially it was at point A. When both came out to see it, it had already traveled to another point B. Here a right angle triangle can be imagined to be made. Can you find the height of the plane at point B from the ground? In the old scenarios mentioned above, the distances or heights can be found by using some mathematical techniques. These mathematical techniques that come under a branch of mathematics called trigonometry. The word trigonometry comes from Greek words. In the word trigonometry, tri means three, gon means sides, metron means measure. So, Trigonometry is the study of relationships between sides and angles of a triangle. Let us now know the history of trigonometry. The earliest known work on trigonometry was recorded in Egypt and Babylon. Though, the ancient Greeks, such as Hipparchus and Ptolemy, used trigonometry in their study of astronomy, roughly between 150 BC to AD 200. Early astronomers used it to find out the distances of the stars and planets from the Earth. Even today, most of the technologically advanced methods used in engineering and physical sciences are based on trigonometrical concepts. 